What's up everyone, back again with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be going over Google Docs and what exactly is Google Docs and how can you get to it and all that good stuff. So before I begin, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It supports the channel and I appreciate all the love you guys have been given so far. So let's just jump right into it. First, what, what I want to tell you what Google Docs is. Google Docs acts as a substitute to what Microsoft Word is, but with a couple more features. So with Google Docs, once you're logged in with your Gmail, you can pretty much take the document wherever you go, wherever you're logged into with your Gmail. So if you type something, the document saves automatically. You don't have to worry about saving it manually because it's basically the cloud. So it saves automatically. Every time you make changes, you type, do all that stuff. So first thing you want to do is you want to log in with your Gmail account. Once you're logged in, you want to click the square icon at the top right hand corner where it says Google Apps. From here, scroll down until you see Docs, the blue page right here. Click on that. Okay, from here, you may get a pop-up window if it's your first time in Docs, just giving you a quick tutorial on it. I've already been into Docs, so that message is, isn't here right now. So if you wanna go through that, you can. But for now, let's just go to the next thing. Once you get through the tutorial or the, the guide, you have a couple options here. Like Microsoft Word, you can do a blank page, you could do a resume, you could do a letter, you could do pr project proposal, a brochure, anything you want to do. Anything you do in Word, you can do in Google Docs. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to click on blank. Okay, so this is what Google Docs look, looks like. It looks exactly like Microsoft Word. It has the same features as Microsoft Word. You can name your document where it says untitled document, I can name it test. And I can start typing like normal. This is a video on Google Docs. As you can see, it says all changes saved in the drive. What I was telling you before is you don't have to save manually. It saves automatically. No matter what you type, no matter what you do, it knows that you're making changes and it saves it. From here, after you're done with your document, you can share it with somebody. If you know their email address, you can type it in. And just hit send. And what that will do is when that goes to the person that, you know, you put their their email here, once it goes to them, they'll get the document, no problem. Hit cancel, and I'll just hit done. So you get a couple options here, you know, you have your file and you have the, pretty much the same options you would in Microsoft Word. You can download, well, you can download a document and you can convert it to a Word document if you wanted to. You can email it to somebody you can delete it if you wanted to. You could print it, edit, same thing with Word. Undo, redo, paste. You have the view, you can insert picture, you can change the format. So if you're comfortable with Microsoft Word, you'll be comfortable with Google Docs. So now you're probably asking yourself, I made this document, it saved, how can I access it? This is how you do it. Once you're done with the document, you want to click on this, the blue page that says Docs Home. Click on that. Okay, from here, it takes you to Doc Home, where these examples are, and it shows your recent document, which is right here, the test one that we just started with. You can click, you can click this document from here if you wanted to, or you can click the back to Google Apps, the top right hand corner, and click on Drive. 
What Google Docs does automatically is when you type up a document, it saves it automatically to your Google Drive. So right here, right here it is. You don't have to worry about saving manually or saving here, or saving there. It saves it automatically to your Google Drive, so you don't have to worry about it. So if I click it, double click it, I'm sorry, it'll throw you right back in to where you left off. That easy. That's how you access Google Docs. It was just a quick run rundown of the basics on where to find it, what it does. That's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. In the next couple of videos, I'll go over Google Sheets and Google Slides, which is basically Google Sheets is a substitution of Microsoft Excel, and Google Slides is a substitution for Microsoft PowerPoint. So I will see you guys in the next video, and have a good one.